and welcome to yet another edition of the Lagos Transportation Agenda. My name is Austin Inyang and this is the show which highlights current events, topical issues and trends in the dynamic world of transportation. The dream of a world-class integrated transport system in Lagos State took a giant leap on Wednesday, the 21st day of December 2022, when the governor of the state, Dr. Babajide Sonwolu, inaugurated the first phase of the Lagos Rail Mass Transit Blue Line. This first phase, which will convey about 250,000 passengers per day from the marina to the mile two axis of the state, is one of six rail and monorail lines which were prescribed in the state uh, strategic transport master plan. The entire blue line is a 27 kilometer rail system designed to convey about 500 passengers per day from the marina to the Okokomaiko axis of the state. Welcoming guests to the occasion, the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of the Lagos Metropolitan Area Transport Authority, Engineer Mrs. Abimbola Akiajo, record with pride the inception of the project in 2010 and the progress it has made over the years in the face of challenges such as shortage of funding, geological obstacles, as well as the delays caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the substantial completion of civil infrastructure for the first phase of Lagos Rail Mass Transit Blue Line Rail System this is a manifestation of the audacious mind and spirit and courage of our governor, Mr. Babajide Olushola Sanwolu, I beg your pardon, sir, doctor, <laughs> and his team in the State Executive Council. The blue line is one of six rail lines and that is articulated within the Lagos State Tran Strategic Transport Master Plan in fact, the STMP is the brainchild of our Governor Emeritus and by the grace of God, our next president, His Excellency Ashwa Jubola Ahmed Tinumbu. His successor, the current Minister of Works and Housing, Mr. Babajide Rajesh Fashola, CONSAN, began the implementation as Governor of Lagos State in 2010. And for eight years, the state government under his watch, funded the construction of the rail project from the IGR. This is unprecedented in the history of rail construction anywhere in the world. The implementation continued, albeit slowly, until Mr. Governor, Dr. Babajide Olushala Sanwolu, mounted the saddle. He metaphorically breathed a new breath of life into the rail project. He sees transportation as one giant component for any economy to thrive. And hence, it is the first pillar of the theme's developmental agenda for Lagos. This speaks to the importance, of this, the importance this administration places on traffic management and transportation. To bring the blue line, a 27 kilometer rail line from Marina to Kokomaiko to its present stage, our dear governor, had to use a window of funding by the Central Bank of Nigeria, which pulled three banks, Access Bank PLC, Fidelity Bank, and Sterling Bank together to fund the completion to this stage. The project, which is being handled by the Lagos Metropolitan Area Transport Authority, or LAMATA, will be run on electricity supplied by a purpose-built independent power station. So the stage that has just been completed is 13 kilometers of the 27 kilometer stretch. We have five stations that have been implemented. From mile two, Alaba, Igomo, National Theater that we're sitting at, and Marina Station. 
Mr. Governor, sir, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I wish to place on record that the construction of the Blue Line has been one of the most challenging projects in Lagos State the Lagos State government has ever embarked upon, given the many issues we've had to overcome. To get to this point, we have had disturbances and delays in the relocation of submarine cables, submarine gas pipelines, and removal of underwater shipwreckages as we crossed, as we completed the sea crossing. The submarine geological conditions are complex, thus making the construction in the lagoon extremely difficult. On a number of times, barges have collided with the trestles supporting our construction activities. Whilst the outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic and the long transportation cycle for imported equipment and materials have contributed to delays in the prompt completion of this rail project. Today, the story has changed. Today, Mr. Governor and other distinguished guests, you will all take a ride on the first train marking the beginning of our testing process for the Blue Line. And you will be using our electronic, our unified electronic payment system, the Kauri card, which we currently use on our buses and our regulated ferry services. In our projection, we reckon that this first phase of 13 kilometers will move nothing less than 250 passengers daily, whilst on completion we will move nothing less than 500,000 passengers on a daily basis. This will translate to a huge reduction in greenhouse gas emissions. Besides, this rail system is also to be powered by electricity, which again shows our sensitivity and our commitment to a cleaner environment for the people of Lagos. She also assured the assembled guests that the red line will be delivered before the end of the first quarter of 2023. I want to remind you, sir, Mr. Governor and Lagosians, our promise that we made on the 17th of August this year, when the last T-beam was launched to, match the, to mark the completion of bridge works on the blue line. We promised you that our team in Lamata and the contractor shall deliver this project by the last quarter of this year in order for testing and commissioning to commence in the first week of January 2023 with a view to starting passenger operations by the end of 2023. Also speaking, the Transportation Commissioner in Lagos State, Dr. Frederick Oladeinde, enumerated all the achievements of the Sunwulu administration in effective traffic management, as well as the building of infrastructure for transportation in the state and the mitigation of environmental impact of transport in Lagos State. About three and a half years ago, when the present administration came into office, Mr. Governor, Dr. Babajide Olushola Sanwolu announced his vision for the development of the state in the team's development agenda. As one of the officers responsible for the fourth pillar of the agenda, that is traffic management and transportation, I can attest to the passion of Mr. Governor in the area of our core competence to keeping Lagos moving. The launch of the completion of infrastructure of the first phase of the Lagos Mass Transit Blue Line Rail is a confirmation of Mr. Governor's expound vision for public transportation. In the last three and a half years, and with the support of Mr. Governor, we have improved 41 junctions which have significantly reduced congestion within the identified localities thereby promoting economic growth for both formal and informal sectors. 13 other junctions are currently under improvement with six others at concept stage for improvement. Mr. Governor, in his quest to ensure effective and efficient management of traffic within the state, reduce road crashes and enhance free flow of traffic for the economic prosperity of Lagos State graciously gave approval for the recruitment of an additional 1,000 LASMA personnel, a development which has reduced traffic infraction by 
as well as enhance recovery process by 87%. Within the life of this administration, the vehicle inspection services now had an operational headquarters. The MVAA office, I mean, the MVAA has one-stop shops across five um, areas in Lagos, and it's continued to increase. The Lagos State Drivers Institute has significantly improved on driver's education also. The Lagos State Government has also taken over the management of the gridlock that has come to characterize APAPA from the Presidential Tax Force in a bid to improve the traffic situation in APAPA. To improve traffic enforcement and service delivery, this government has installed 24 uh, fixed cameras and 10 mobile AMPL cameras across the state to ensure compliance with road traffic laws and minimize physical interaction between motorists and the law enforcement officers thereby bringing about a drastic reduction in the attack of some of our enforcement officers. Under Mr. Governor's watch, the administration has deployed auto vein technology to eliminate multiple vehicle registration, improve vehicle security in the state, and enhance accident investigation. Also, the state now manages, co manages coordinate, and regulate e-hailing services in a bid to promote safety, security of lives, and properties. In the area of public transport, the government has deployed high capacity, medium, and first and last mile buses, enhanced water transportation, deployed 1,000 lag ride taxis, fixed bad roads, expand the BRT transit network, and decongest traffic by connecting more communities with new link roads and bridges. In the search for cleaner energy in public transportation, the state is in the forefront of driving sustainable mobility with the deployment of 10 buses running on compressed natural gas, which we call CNG, since September 2022, as a pilot project with the objective of collecting data for informed investigation decision in the vehicle. This is being carried out with a mission to reducing pollution associated with public transportation, improve the health condition of the people, as well as enhance private sector partnership in regulated public transport. Mr. Governor, I want to say thank you for sticking to your promise to Legotian that the infrastructure for the first phase of the Lagos Rail Mass Transit Blue Line will be completed in the last quarter of 2022. Legotians now trust you that you are a man of integrity, and that is why we have asked you to continue the good work in 2023 and beyond. Mr. Governor, on behalf of all of us in the transport family, I say congratulations on the completion of this infrastructure, which will no doubt reduce traffic, travel, uh, travel time on the um, corridor in operation, create more jobs, enhance partnership with the private sector, and change the lifestyle of the people of Lagos State. Great economies are built on good transportation network. This is why Lagos State Government through LAMATA has been working tirelessly to enhance the state's transport infrastructure and implement the Strategic Transport Master Plan, STMP, for Lagos and create a world-class transport network for the metropolis. The STMP would deliver six rail lines, one monorail, 14 BRT routes, 26 water transport routes, three cable car routes, and several road interventions to promote the interstate integration of the transport modes. When all these projects are completed, there will be lower emission, leading to better health for all, lower road crashes, better quality of life, and faster economic growth. With the BRT already running in some corridors, jetties being upgraded and rail line from Okokomaiko to CMS coming on board soon. Life of Logosians in the face of Lagos is changing every day. A healthier and more prosperous Lagos is in the making, and La Mata is driving it. La Mata, keeping Lagos moving. Inaugurating the project, Governor Babajide Sonwolu was accompanied at the occasion by the Deputy Governor, Dr. 
Obafemi Kadri Hamzat, members of the State Executive Council, important government dignitaries, private sector players, and other stakeholders, described the project as the fulfillment of a pledge he made during the campaigns to ensure completion of the first phase of the Blue Line Rail project before the end of 2022, prior to the commencement of passenger operations by the first quarter of 2023. So for us to put this event that we're here, to put it in proper perspective, I think it's important for us to go down memory lane. It was in the year 1902, that is 120 years ago, when the very first tramway system was launched here in the city of Lagos. The tram connected the mainland, which is Ebutemeta, to Lagos Island. That tram quickly became an important part of the social, commercial, and economic life of Lagos in the early 20th century. Now, 120 years later, we are making a remarkable history on the final infrastructure completion of yet another historic rail line, the phase one of the Blue Line Lagos Mass Transit Corridor. Let me make it clear that today is not the official commissioning. It is the inauguration of the infrastructure completion. This is a government that has kept its promise, that has kept its word, that have given a commitment because we're people of integrity. We're people that understand and appreciate that once you give a commitment, nothing must stop you. And I'm indeed happy that today, before the end of the year 2022, we're all here to witness the formal inauguration of the infrastructural completion of the Blue Line. This milestone in the development of rail, Lagos Rail Mass Transit is a culmination of several impactful reforms in the transport ecosystem of Lagos since the beginning of this Fourth Republic in the year 1999. Our leader, Ashwajibola Ahmed Tinubu, when he was sworn in in 1999, he inherited a Lagos metropolis that was struggling on all facets, with all challenges. And before the end of his first tenure, was battered. And so over the last two decades, that master plan has fully implemented by successful government, has grown from strength to strength. I'm also happy to inform us that all the three strains that will require for the blue line are in the country, are with us. The very first one are the ones we are going to ride on this afternoon. The two others are also in the country and I'm excited that CCCC were able to keep to the awards to ensure that the trains get into the country before the official commissioning today. He also paid tribute to the former governor of Lagos State and the leader of the All Progressives Congress, Ashiwaju Bolamed Tinobu, whose brainchild this project was during his stewardship as the first civilian governor of Lagos State during this democratic dispensation from 1999 to 2007. It's important for me to acknowledge the visionary role of our leader, Ashiwaju Bolamed Tinobu, who was the designer of the modern Lagos. He is today on the ballot of APC as a presidential candidate. And we're excited, we're happy that the success that we have received, that we have seen in Lagos can indeed be transformed and be transmitted into our nation globally. My final thank is to the good people of Lagos. You are the one that continues to give us the urge the commitment to wake up every morning and do the right thing and do the proper thing for you. This is for you. It's about you. It's about your family. It's about your children. It's about your sustenance, your livelihood. It's about ensuring that what we promise as a government to make life a lot better for you. This is what it is. For you to be able to commune from one part of the city to another part of the city seamlessly in a safe and secure environment. 
Those are the commitments we give you. That is what we want to assure you that for every part, for every day we wake up, we will continue to understand and appreciate that the oath that we took is to serve you with everything we have. We want to thank you that even in the face of difficulty, you stood with us. You continue to encourage us. You continue to say that you believe in this government. In all the phases of inconveniences throughout the real project, you have encouraged us, you have thanked with us, you have believed in us. This is for you. You should also bear in mind that this rail system is powered by electricity and it must therefore not be trespassed on in any way. The rail crossing is a no-no for everyone. The tracks is an, not an option for anyone to cross. And we have provided enough pedestrian bridges to ensure that you can move from one station to the other. And please, gentlemen of the press, let us use this as another opportunity to say to our citizens that this is an electric run rail track. Nobody, nobody can walk on those tracks because they will be powered with electricity 24-7. We gave a commitment too that we are going to announce the preferred bidder and the winner for the fourth mainland bridge. I still want to keep to that promise that before the end of this year, we will be announcing the final contractor bidder for the fourth mainland bridge, which is a 37 kilometer crossing on water and on waterways for the good people of Lagos. This will be another promise set, promise kept for our citizens. Therefore, to the glory of God, it is now my pleasure to formally announce the completion of the infrastructure of the Lagos Rail, the Blue Line. We will now commence the test running of the line in preparation for the formal commissioning for passenger traffic and operation. The formal commissioning will be done by Mr. President himself in the month of January. He has given us the assurance that he will come around to formally commission the rail for us at the iconic marina station. This is not the iconic. It is the iconic marina station that Mr. President will officially be commissioning the blue line and he will ride from Marina all the way to Maltu on that fateful day. And he will also do the groundbreaking for the phase two, which will be from Maltu all the way to Okokomaiko on that fateful day. So it's still another day for Lagosians to look forward to. Thank you all very much for listening. It's been an honor and a great privilege to be your governor at this time of our history. Thank you very much. Those were the highlights of the official inauguration of the first phase of the 13-kilometer uh, Blue Line Rail project by the governor of the state and other important members of the government. Remember, the Blue Line Rail system in Lagos State is electrified. Do not cross the tracks. Do not interface in any way with the facilities of the rail system in this state. Use pedestrian crossings instead it's for your own safety join me next week on this show at this time and on the same channel for yet another interesting discourse in the dynamic world of transportation until then this is austin inyang saying bye bye and god bless